Hello guys, today I will show you how to build DIY adjustable power supply with voltage and current display. Here we go. For this project you will need multimeter, soldering iron, solder, cordless screwdriver, pliers and screwdrivers. Parts are LM2596 DC to DC buck converter, tanky pot with mounting hardware, LED, one key resistor. And if you want to purchase any of these components, you can find links in video description. Main switch, voltage and current display, AC connector for power supply and power supply, mains cable, hitch ring tubing, and 3D printed case. Optionally, you can use switch with a key, and you will need some wires. So, first step was to design and 3D print a case for this uh, power supply. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can build something out of wood or plastic. So first step was to prepare the power supply, so for this we need to solder wires to AC connector. Now we can add heat shrink tubing for protection from electrical shocks. If you try to do this project, remember, electricity can be dangerous and you are on your own. I'm not responsible for any damage you do or any injuries. Be careful, really. So now we need co to connect this AC connector to power supply. Now we can start with LM2596 board. First we need to desolder the built-in potentiometer and solder our own 10k pot. We need to solder on some thin uh, wires and for protection we add heat shrink tubing. If you don't have heat shrink tubi tubing, you can use electrical tape. Now we need to solder the pot to board. Be careful not to hit for too long or you can risk damaging the LM2596 board. Now we can prepare the main on-off switch by soldering some wires onto it. And adding heat shrink tubing. Now we can start mounting the switch to the case. And we can tighten it with the pliers. Now we need to solder in 
to the voltage inside of the LM2596 board. And we can solder a resistor and wire to LED. Now we can solder to voltage outside of the board and we can solder our wires which we can use then later to connect to load. Now we can mount the pot into case. And now we can install voltage and current display. We just need to hook it in. You can find a schematic in video description in, or if you have any question feel free to ask in video comments. And now it's time to test the power supply. As you can see on the multimeter the voltage is displayed correctly and LED is working right. Thanks for watching, if you like the video like it, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.